Keegan from Half Baked Harvest, and I'm beyond excited because I'm here with my friend Haley Duff, and we are in her kitchen today. We're making one of her delicious recipes. We're sharing spring rolls. Um, you may know Haley from Real Girls Kitchen. She is an actress. She's a mom of two. Thanks for coming over. I'm so happy we're making this. I'm so excited. Spring rolls. I'm are... also very surprised that this is not like in your normal wheelhouse. It's not in my normal. I, I have made them before. I will say that, but they, you know what? They intimidate me a little bit because I, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. I like to make things look really gorgeous mm -hmm. and. I can't get my rolls. So ours are probably not gonna be perfect. Because we're real and it's just but we're that's doing okay. it the way that they're gonna yeah. be delicious. But Haley's gonna share her tips with me because yes. she has quite a few of them. And I'm really excited. I mean, and yeah, like you said, they're gonna be incredible no matter what. Yeah. Also the peanut sauce though, like I feel like we're skipping over the peanut sauce. It's dynamite. Well, so I went with peanut butter, but you can substitute almond butter. For sure. You can substitute all kinds of things for this. But do you even use tahini, I feel like? You can, yeah. yeah. You definitely can. Because I know we but know I did a just lot of nut allergies. Straight peanut butter. Right. Also, okay. we're using shrimp, but you could make these vegetarian too. You also can do like beef, you could make chicken, like you could really do this with anything. Cool. I think this is the most intimidating part is the rice paper. Yes, the rice paper is like its own thing because it's really an intuitive part of this recipe. Yeah. When it goes into the hot water, it's really about pulling it out at the right time. So not going in for too long. Number one first tip with the rice paper, don't do it on a wood board. Oh. Do it on a plastic board. Well, We're gonna you know wet what, it already, down a little I'm tiny bit. I'm already ahead of myself, I feel like, here. Genius. When you put it on the wood, it just tends to really See, be a situation there. And let's just like, this is probably a little, some half of it's too done, and I'm gonna get a new one. I think let's everybody. just start let's, fresh. Let's just start fresh. See, this just shows you what a pro I just am. Just throw that bad boy in the sink, and let's gonna, start over. We're just gonna put that one over there. All right, so I got a fresh paper. Yeah, cool. so the rice paper, you wanna put it into warm water, and it's like, I wanna say a 10 to 15 second rotating, how Tegan's kinda of like rotating yeah. it in, but you really you wanna feel, feel it out. It. Yeah, you want sure. it to be not too soft, but not too hard. You really hard. gotta get it right at the right time. Yeah. Because yeah. it should be kinda of like this, right? Yeah. And then it gets, like I've always found that they get even softer once you put them on the board. I don't know if they're They'll continue to on the board. soften. Yeah. Okay, so this is great. Yeah. And now I feel like I wanna make this really pretty, but I'm just gonna go for it and- Do your thing. So we have cabbage, we have cilantro, uh, some basil. Some really fresh, delicious ingredients. Yeah. I feel like. Cucumber, uh, carrot. Awesome. Oh, the noodles. And Haley, how do we pronounce this? Well, we this? just Googled we, we this. We Googled this. We did just Google this. So these are vermicelli noodles. Yeah. And um, I just like the mouthfeel of these too. Like me they, too. They kind of give like great texture to these instead of just all the vegetable. They make them heartier. Yes. Which I think is nice, but still really light. Yes, which I think definitely. Is really nice. Look I'm at just, your rolling, girl. I'm just wrapping it's perfect. Rolling burrito style here. I like it. Um, so you went over. And then you went both sides. Am I doing over and both sides? And then over sides. again. Are we taking notes? No, it looks perfect. It looks pretty good to me, girl. Yum. Yeah, it looks But it great. needs sauce. You can't do. It needs sauce. You cannot Let's do build our milk. sauce. Let's build that sauce. The ingredients in our peanut yeah. sauce. Let's hear them. Some peanut butter, some crushed red pepper flakes, a little clove of garlic, some soy sauce, and some brown sugar. And then. I like a little heat, so yeah, a little, so heat, a little sweet and spicy, right? Yeah, a little it's sweet totally and spicy. My thing. Yeah, and then we're gonna also add some tablespoons of water, and this really is your eyeball situation here because we're gonna like thin it out. We're gonna thin it out, but you don't. I'm not gonna tell you an exact amount because it really is about how right. thin or thick you want your sauce. For sure. Yeah. Some Should people like sauce? it like some people like it drizzly. Some people like it thick. You know. Yeah, I mean that's the other thing is you could put these out on a platter and you could drizzle the sauce over mm -hmm. them. So if you were having a big Party, How gorgeous and you wanted, would these be? You didn't want double dippers. Oh, Nobody like a double dipper. I'm all about. You could drizzle dipping. it across, so people were kind of just like grabbing it and yeah. going. That's a make nice it way make to it do. easy for people for sure. So we're gonna put all yeah. the peanut butter in the bowl here. Okay. Our garlic, nice. and then I'm gonna just eyeball like about half of this crushed red pepper in there. You like spicy stuff though, I right? I mean, you could put it all in there. I You're guess. not scared? So I okay. I just don't think that anybody's gonna mind. I'm like, I don't know how hot I could go with you, girl. I mean, so yeah. We've got a kind of thick little paste going here. And now we're gonna add some water. So we're gonna start with like one. Let's start with two. Do Cause ever... I don't really like it too thin. No. I'm like, it's still you... pretty thick. Yeah. I think we're probably gonna add one well, more. We can do one more tablespoon. But now I've got a dirty spoon, so I'm gonna just give it a little 
So you gotta eyeball, like you just gotta, you know, keep it as you go. Yeah. Okay, so our peanut sauce is starting to like take shape you here, guys, but I, I... I can smell the peanut butter. Me it smells too. so good. Yeah, it oh. smells great. But I think we need a little more water, you know, honestly. You know, you had some like really thick, dry peanut butter. I think like. we're gonna do the whole... So this was six tablespoons of water, and we used the whole thing. It's all right. It'll but be here good. we go. Now it's starting to look... Okay, this is looking pretty looks good. so good. Mm. How do we Great. feel about that? Awesome, looks so good. Haley, I feel like you should tell me a little bit about, I wanna know more about Little Little Moon Society. What's going on there? Like that's Well, the Little Moon Society um, is awesome and so fun. It, and has I, like turned into this crazy business that I never <laughs> imagined so that it would. I'm so excited for you. I have to make it to the store. It looks adorable. Thank you. Um, yeah, come over. We're making clothes for women now too, which is really fun. Yeah. Look, I already have a little tear in mine. It looks perfect. You're already showing me up, girl. No, no, no. it looks perfect. She's gonna do great. I don't, know. I don't think there's a right or wrong way to do these. That's sort of the beauty of it, is like, you can't mess them up. And if you do mess them up, they still taste good. So even if... Right, they still taste even good. Even if they're and, like, and kind also, of funky looking, they're I fine. feel like we should mention too, that like when you're plating these, just drizzle the peanut sauce over top, and yeah. you can cover up any of the blemishes. Or like put an herb totally. there, garnish with an herb. There we go. Okay. Amazing. So easy. We did it. We did it. I feel like these are great, right? Like, go team. Yeah. Well, this was so much fun, Haley. Thank you so much for inviting us into your beautiful home. Yeah, thanks for coming over. And sharing your recipe with us. I cannot wait to make this literally all summer long. It's going to be so good. And it'll be great for, like, summer parties or, like, making with my friends. So I'm so excited. For sure. And thank you guys for watching. Be sure to follow Haley on Instagram. She's always sharing the cutest mm -hmm. photos of her kids and all kinds of fun stuff about what she's up to as well. Awesome. So, yeah. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye.